the champions. Next up is a fantastic ventriloquist from the UK, and after 25 years, perfecting his craft, including a sellout residency in Las Vegas and three world variety performances, this guy is one of the slickest performers you'll ever see. Wow, imagine working 25 years with the same dummy. It's the winner of America's Got Talent 2015, the brilliant Paul Zerdin. Paul oh, Zerdin, eh? Did you know he used to be a solo act? No. Exactly. He wasn't known and he wasn't any good. I first came across him performing in a comedy club in Cleethorpes. And he said to me, we don't serve pieces of rope. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm afraid not. <laughs> That's all for me. Thanks very much. Good night. I felt sorry for him. So I thought I'd give him a chance at a double act. A, B, C. It took me ages to teach him to be a ventriloquist. At first, he was so bad, when he listened, his ears moved. Make a man I decided to crack America. Paul tagged along. You speak for yourself. I wish I could. We auditioned for America's Got Talent. The winner is Paul Zernan! Winning America's Got Talent was utterly fantastic. I am totally speechless. Thank you so much. And then after that, it kind of went a bit crazy, really. We ended up getting our own show on the strip in Las Vegas. Yeah, Vegas, baby. I've had success in America, but, you know, to be on home turf, I'm not going to lie, it would be great to win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It is great to be here. It's great to be here. On Champions Tonight. On Champions Tonight at Wembley. At oh, Wembley. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Oh, don't start all this. Oh, don't start all this. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, he always does this. You know, he always does this. He will stop. Eventually. <laughs> What's got into you tonight? Your hand. <laughs> Look, don't ruin this for me. Look, we're in front of the judges. Look, there's Simon. Yeah, there's Simon. He's alive. He's a lord. He's a legend. <laughs> there's Amanda. There's Amanda. She's cool. She's calm. She's collected. There's Alicia. There's Alicia. She's wise. She's witty. She's wonderful. And there's David. Yes. And... <laughs> and there's David! <laughs> oh, what? Don't laugh, I can't talk when you laugh. <laughs> and if I didn't talk, there wouldn't be any laughs. Oh, I beg to differ. Oh, I beg to differ. You know, I don't need you. No? No. I think I could be funny without a puppet. You're not funny with a puppet. <laughs> So you're going in there. Make me. What? Make me. What? Make me. OK. No, oh, hang on. What? David looks quite handsome this way up. That's it. You're going in there. No, no, please, no, please. Please, no, no, Zerdin, please. Come on. You're making me look stupid. No, you need help. I'm sorry about that. Please let me come back out. No. Don't please stop. Please let me come. No. Please. No. Listen, if you don't let me come back out, you're going to get it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It's a threat. Oh, I'm really scared. You will be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't need a puppet to be a ventriloquist. No. No. All I need is one of these. What's that? It's a microphone. Do you know what I'm going to do with this? I know what I'd like you to do with it. <laughs> I'm going to do my jokes. Oh, be careful. Excuse me? Well, it's not as easy as I'll make it look. You what? In comedy, there's certain things you can't talk about. You've got to be politically correct. Politically correct? I know what I'm doing right. There are these two Irishmen. No. Excuse me? Oh, well, you can't say that. What? Well, why not? Racist. Racist. All right, my mother-in-law. Now, there's a... No, no, no. What? Sexist. All right, this big fat bloke. Sizist. My grandmother. Ageist. <laughs> David Copperfield. Illusionist. <laughs> oh, funny, Look, 
you're ruining this. Pessimist! <laughs> this whole thing is going downhill fast. Tobogganist! <laughs> Why don't you get stuffed? Taxidermist! <laughs> you're on fire tonight. Arsonist! <laughs> so, no jokes then. What am I going to do? Ventriloquist! <laughs> You've always got to have the last word, haven't you? No. There you go again. Anyway, why is it always what you want? What do you mean? Never what I want. Well... <laughs> what do you want? You know what I want, Paul. I want to become a real boy. <laughs> Sam, we've been through this. It's, that's never going to happen. Look, we'll talk about this when we're alone. You're going to talk to me when we're alone. <laughs> and how long have you been single? <laughs> Dreams! Dreams can come true. Don't you believe in magic? No, Sam, I don't. Frankly, no one is going to come along, wave their arms in the air and say, You've always lived your life as a toy. From this day forth, you'll become a real boy. <laughs> that was weird. Um, Paul? Yeah? I think you better take a look. No. No way. True. Look, Sam, you're a real live boy. Shut it! Ow! <laughs> That's all for me. Good night. Funny, funny. Alicia. Oh, Paul, that was absolutely fantastic. I loved every single moment of that. Sam is very cheeky. It's good, clean-cut, old-fashioned entertainment and a brilliant surprise at the end. Well done. <laughs> Paul, you are, in my opinion, you are just a master at this, an utter genius. I don't agree that it's old-fashioned. I think that it, your, your jokes were really on point, very funny. You landed every single thing. Your timing is impeccable, and I think you are a real talent. So congratulations for tonight. You're amazing. Paul, cool. of all the times I've seen you, this was by far the best performance I've ever seen by you. Thank you so much. I could feel it from the crowd. Uh, it was really funny, really well written, that great twist at the end. And you look so comfortable up there, you know? It was like, I know it's nerve-wracking when you come back, you've got to compete with other people. And, yeah. you know, for everyone who has the guts to come back, you have my absolute respect. But you didn't just come back, you came here to prove a point. You just made a massive point and you've given yourself a real shot for it. <laughs> I was thinking throughout that, who am I to judge you? You are super funny, super talented, super professional. In fact, for the moment you walked on, I thought, you know, we can just all relax and enjoy this because this guy knows what he's doing. There is nobody who wouldn't enjoy your performances. Well, thank you, that means a lot to me. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, George. <laughs> um, Paul, I mean, you've had such a, a level of success, winning America's Got Talent, the, the show in Vegas. Uh, how does it feel coming back here to perform in the UK on Champions? I have to say, this to me, back on home turf, means more than anything else. And uh, I didn't want to balls it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do that. You are absolutely brilliant. We're all very proud of you. Well done, Paul. Brilliant. Tonight. One more time, that's it for the amazing Paul Zerny.